Hi everybody, it's me Vicky. Hi, how are you guys? So today I wanted to come on and talk about natural hair when it comes to the big chop, transitioning, and protective styling. I do have a couple of people in my personal life who is curious about the natural hair movement. Some are relaxed and they're thinking about going natural and they ask me questions because I, one thing I do have is experience of being a natural person because altogether I've been natural 10 years. However, the first time I went natural, I got bored. I relaxed my hair, put a relaxer in my hair, and I ended up chopping my hair again and going natural for the second time. And this time around, it's forever. I will never, ever put a relaxer in my hair again. It's just not for me. Okay, so with that being said, I wanted to come on and just talk to anybody who is relaxed and people who are thinking about going natural and you need information and you want to know more about how it works. And from my experience, I will try my best to uh, explain to you how it works. So uh, if you are going to do the big chop, let's talk about the big chop. The big chop is when you have a relaxer in your hair and you no longer want to put a relaxer in your hair so you decide that I'm going to go natural so you chop off all of your hair so you end up with a short little fro. I will try to put pictures in this video so you guys can see what I'm talking about as opposed to just me just talking about it. Okay so that's what I did. Chopped it all off for the second time. Okay and what transitioning is, transitioning is different. Some people are relaxed and they don't want to cut all their hair off. So what they do is they let the perm grow out, meaning that the perm starts to grow. They do not put a relaxer in their hair and they may not put a relaxer for almost a year. Then they have relaxed ends on the bottom and they have their natural hair growing from the roots. And what they do is snip the relaxed ends out. Once you snip it off, you will end up with a fro, okay? And when that happens, then you will be considered a natural, okay? You won't be transitioning anymore because you will be totally natural, and that's how that works. So, when I first went natural years ago, I didn't understand how somebody does the big chop like I do, and they say they're one month natural and their hair is out to here, and mine is like out to here. And the reason for that is people fail to tell people that they're post uh, natural, meaning that you was growing your hair out before doing the big chop. So if you are, if somebody who sh shaves all their hair off and you who is transitioning, you will have a different type of length and it will look like you have more hair than that person who did the big chop and went completely bald. So that's why I felt some type of way like with people like, how oh, we both six months, your hair is down to your shoulders already and mine is still like over here. And it's because of that, because people transition first. So there's a big difference. So people could say, I'm six months natural and they got hair down to their back. But the person who did the big chop has a little something and they're like, what the heck? That's what that means. And so that's the reason why it, you know, it looks like the people have more hair than others. Now, there are some people that I have seen personally who has shaved their hair completely off and their hair grows so fast. You're like, oh my God, like in a year they have this big fro as opposed to, you know, some people's hair takes forever. Everybody's hair is different. A lot of people think because everybody's black, we're all the same. Wrong. We are all different. We're all individuals and our hair grows differently. Some of us have tightly coiled hair. Some of us have loose, loose curls. It all depends. It doesn't have to be, it's people assume because everybody's black, we all gonna have the same type of hair issues or it's going to be the same. That is totally wrong. From my experience, everybody's different, okay? So when it comes to protective style, I am wearing a protective style right now. A protective style is when natural hair ladies like myself uh, decide to wear wigs, weaves, or braids to protect our natural hair. And when we do that, well, for me, for sure, when I do that, I get a lot of growth. My hair is growing. Some people's hair break when they wear wigs or weaves or whatever because it depends on who's doing it 
Are you taking care of your hair? Are you moisturizing your hair? Are you greasing your scalp? Are you doing, are you taking care of the hair before you put the fake hair on top? You know, so you, it all depends on the individual. If you're not taking care of your hair, you are going to have damage. You can't have real dried hair. You never deep condition your hair. You don't wash your real hair and just think that your hair is going to be healthy. Even if you're doing protective styles, we're not we're protective styling by wearing fake hair. Um, some people do protective style by wearing twists braids um, like their own braids and stuff like that that's fine too and again you could do wash and goes that's that's a cool protective style but me for me I like to wear protective styles because it helps to grow my hair out it keeps my hands out of my hair and I notice that my hair grows faster or better because I'm not like constantly looking at it because when I constantly look at it it feels like it's breaking or it looks short to me but that's not the case if you are doing the right things like you're deep conditioning your hair, you're greasing your scalp, you're taking vitamins, you're drinking water, you're massaging your scalp, your hair will grow healthy. If you're not doing these things, uh, there's a possibility that your hair will not grow. Some people don't do anything at all and their hair grow. It all depends. Like I just said, all of us are different. Some people don't never wash their hair and their hair grow. And I don't know how that could, I mean, that my hair be itchy as hell. I couldn't, I have to wash my hair. And some people wash it constantly and their hair grows. Some people, water is your best friend when you're natural. That's facts because of the moisture. Your hair needs to have moisture. If your hair is dry, it will break. You need, water is your best friend. Well, for me, in my case, it is. So that's how it works, guys. Uh, it's that simple. So if you are thinking about going natural, you know, the, the first thing you have to do is really think about if this is what you really want to do and just take the steps. And there's a lot of videos um, on YouTube, uh, on social media. You will find a lot of different ladies to help you because it's not so hard, you know, and that's how I was able to learn because I watch videos. I watch from people and I've learned. And the fact that I been all together natural for 10 years uh, I know a lot I know what to do what not to do what works what doesn't work for me you know you have to experiment and try different things for your hair and see what works for you take care guys have a wonderful day bye bye